I'm filming an iPhone 6 video because I just got my iPhone 6, obviously, last week and I'm so, so, so excited because I had the iPhone 4 before which was like so slow, couldn't take good pictures, like I skipped the 4S, 5, 5C, 5S and now I have the 6 and it's so cool, so big and I got 64 gigabytes, I only had 8 before. So, like, oh, life is just good. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you all the apps and stuff that's on my phone. And then also how I edit pictures. And the new features of the iPhone 6. So, you'll just get an overall video of my phone. And Ashton's going to be filming a What's on My iPhone 5S pretty soon. But I just wanted to do mine right now since I just got the 6. And since it's new and you guys probably want to see what it's like and maybe if any of you are wondering about it or possibly going to get it this might help I think we should get started okay okay let's go here is my iPhone 6 I got the silver and white I'll take the case off in a minute and show you but this is just a teal case I got on Amazon it's not very protective though so I think I'm going to get a different one here it is next to the iPhone 4, and here's the back. So the iPhone 6 is curved more around the sides, it's kind of more like an iPod. And then it has this like bubble thing right here, where it's not like flat, it, I don't know how to show you, but it curves around the edges and it's really really cool. So it's obviously really big compared to the old one. The lock button is on the side, which I thought was weird at first, but it's actually really nice because when I'm on my phone, this is exactly where my finger is anyways. And then the volume buttons are like long instead of little circles. And then the little volume thing on the top is like super tiny and cute. That's the outside. And I got silver. Here's my background. It's just a picture from Pinterest. Okay, so this is what my phone looks like once you get on it. My background is from a wallpapers app that I'll show you in a minute. So on the bottom, I have Messages, Phone, Safari, and Music. The messages are usually up there, but I figure since they're used often, I just wanted to put them down there. And then I have Calendar, Photos, Camera, Maps, Weather, Notes. I use my notes so, so much for everything. I don't know if I could live without notes. And then Reminders, FaceTime. I don't really use those. iTunes Store, App Store, Settings, and Clock. And then I have contacts, calculator, and then here I have my Uversion Bible, which is a great Bible app to get. But there's always a verse of the day, and then there's read, so you just can look up anything in the Bible. And then plans is the best part. So these are my completed plans, some really good ones. This is what I'm doing right now called This Book is Alive. So if you want to do this, you totally should. You just basically click on the day, devotional content, and then there's a Bible like passage to read, and then you check it off once you're done. Yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of plans, and it's really easy to remember. You can set a reminder to do it every day, but it makes it kind of fun to do it on your phone, and you can like highlight stuff on this app and everything. So, yeah, I definitely recommend getting this. It's really, really great. And then YouTube. Then, next I have my little folders. So the first one I called In The Know. So these are all my social media apps. I have Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook on the top because those are just like the basic social media apps. So here's Instagram. Um, follow us at Three Sisters in Style. And then I also have, whoops, this is my personal one, breezyly 37 so follow me on there too. And then Twitter, here's mine, it's also breezyly 37 So if you want to find me on any social media account, it's breezyly 37 because Breezy's my nickname, Lee's my middle name, and 37 is my favorite number. And then Snapchat, Vine, I don't use Vine that much. But when I do, I'm on there like forever and it's so funny. And then this app I wanted to show you guys. It's called Fuhaha Oto. Whoops. Photo with three H's. And it's a new app that people at our church have been using. And it's really, really cool and I want more people to get on it. Because I only have 36 friends. So it's like 
you move around a little bit and it's silent but it's like Instagram kind of but you're moving but it's really really cool so you guys should get one and find me on there and then Pinterest Gmail and mail and then take pics bro I'm gonna show you this last because I'm gonna show you how I edit my pictures with all this and then I have money time just the my Verizon app and Wells Fargo and then for the kiddos so all the kids that I babysit, I just keep these on them, on there for them. Sky Burger, Flappy Bird, and Princess Dress Up. I really love how this whole thing looks, like how the background matches the phone case and like all the apps are just, oh. It's like so much more vibrant on the iPhone 6. But, so I have Shopkick, which I recommend this app. It's, when you're like at stores, like I pretty much only use it at Target, but you get kicks for walking in, and then if you scan stuff around the store, you get more kicks too. And then once you reach a certain amount, you can get like a $5 gift card or whatever. And then Think Dirty sounds really bad, but it's actually an app where you scan products at the store, like foundations or any makeup or hair product or whatever, and you can see how natural it is or not natural it is. So like... I haven't scanned anything yet because I used to use my mom's phone for this since my iPhone 4 was too slow, but it's really cool. So if you're wondering like how good something is for you or how bad it is for you, you can use that when you're shopping. And then I just have Spotify, follow me on there too. And The Hunt, I'm guessing you know what this is, but it's an app where you just post stuff that you want to know where to buy it and people help you find it basically. I'm obsessed with this app lately. Oops. It's so fun. And then on my next page I just have productivity. The keynote numbers and pages are new and it also came with iMovie and maybe some other stuff but I deleted it because I knew it would take up a lot of space. But that's pretty cool so you could write like a whole essay on your phone. And then this is never used. Compass, voice memos, video, passbook, Game Center, Newsstand, iBooks, and Podcasts. I never use any of that. So I just like it in a folder where I'm not going to see it. And then Tips is a new app for iOS 8, I think. And it just basically gives you tips about how to use iOS 8 in your phone. Wallpapers, this is the app that I was telling you about that's actually really, really good. I've never had a Wallpapers app before. So you can look up, like, Floral. I think I had it on here. And there's a bunch of good floral ones. Like, these are actually really good. Like, that blue I put on my Twitter. And, ooh. These are so cute. Here's some of the wallpapers that I saved from there. And then I just have T0. This is just a countdown app. There's 90 days until Christmas. I used to not have all these random apps. But now that I have 64 gigabytes, there's actually enough space for just random fun stuff. So, it's pretty awesome. And then Retail Me Not. This is a coupon thing that actually works really well like I have all my favorite stores in here where are they favorite stores yeah and then whenever I'm shopping I can just click and see what there is so I never really have to buy anything without a coupon and then time hop if you know what that is it just shows you random like feed and pictures from a couple years ago and then I have puffin which is like for some of my school um, classes you need uh, what's the word flash or whatever it is on Safari that it doesn't have on the regular Safari when like there's like videos and stuff so it's basically a better Safari I think that's pretty much all and now I'm gonna show you how I edit my pictures under take pics bro so actually, on the camera, ooh, hi. There's a timer now, so three second or ten second timer. And then there's also time lapse on photos. There is, this is a weird picture, but say I was gonna edit it, you can click the regular filters, and then there's light, color, B and W. So like under light, there's all this stuff just on the regular camera, so you don't really need an app for all this stuff. But I haven't figured out exactly how to use it all yet. And then you can also do Square Ready right on here, which is so cool. 
So yeah, that's all on there. But as far as apps go, I have Rookie, Afterlight, and VSC OK I'm on the top because those are like the main ones that I use with filters and stuff. And then PicFX, Perfect 365, Cream Cam, Square Ready, Photo Collage, and Aviary. So Rookie is my favorite one, I'm pretty sure. And it's the newest one that I've got. So let's click on um, this one again. So on here, I always click on Mellow Moody and then Breezy. And then I bring this all the way down and this like to 20 or 30. And it basically just makes the picture more vibrant without having like a huge heavy filter. But then there's also this. So if I need brightness, contrast, and then sometimes I'll do click on this and it just adds vibrance. I really honestly use a lot of different things for editing pictures. There's not a certain way that I do it every single time, but this is probably the most common. And then next is Afterlight. Basically each time I just pick a different app and then do the same thing on each app. So on this app, I always use the same filter. So I click on Guest and then Russ. And then I'll bring it down a little bit. And then it basically they all have pretty much the same things right here. Sometimes I'll fade it just for fun. But I've been into more vibrant pictures lately rather than faded. A couple months ago I was doing everything really faded, but yeah, so that's what I do on Afterlight and then VSEO Cam. On here, Ashton told me about a really good filter. VSEO Cam is a little bit confusing, but hopefully you're following along. So you click on F2 and bring it down. This might not be the be best picture for an example for this, but F2 is a really good filter. Um, T1 is good if you want it like faded, but it's also, on some pictures it's a little bit too faded. But, and then if you click on this, it also has just all the same, um, editing things. So, that's how I use VSEO Cam. Pick FX, I only use for the little hearts and like uh, light leaks over my pictures. This is where I get them, you can see like the light right there. Or the hearts let's find the hearts like those it's not really the perfect picture for them but that's pretty much all I use on this app and then perfect 365 is the one that you can put like makeup on and stuff but I don't actually use it for that I just use it for like if my skin's like really red or for blemishes or something like that I don't use it that often or go crazy with it but just sometimes and then cream cam basically makes everything like softer so oh, I guess I haven't used it yet on this phone so say I'm gonna click on that cream cam it's up all the way right now but if it's down it looks like that I don't know if you can really see the difference but it kinda like softens your face makes it like clearer I only use this sometimes and I'll just do like a little bit so, that's what that's for. And then, Square Ready, you probably all know what that is, just for putting the white bars around your picture so it fits on Instagram. And then, Photo Collage. Okay, I'm not going to show you too much on that, but I like Photo Collage because you can get rid of the white borders. I kind of like it sometimes when it's like just the pictures next to each other without the borders, and you can do that on there. And then, Aviary is the last one I have because I don't use it that often. Let's just click on this one. So you can go to uh, blemish or whiten. Those are the only things I, need, I use on here. So like if you have a blemish, you can get rid of it. And then whiten, it'll whiten your teeth. Basically just go right over it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And yeah, I don't use those for every picture, but if I want to, I just like to have all my options open. That's basically all the apps that I use for editing and it literally changes every time. I hope you enjoyed this video of what's on my iPhone 6 and make sure you keep entering our giveaway. It will end Saturday so hopefully you have a good chance of winning that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.
her. Who is it? Just wait, just wait, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <gasps> I hope you enjoyed this video and 